Teen Wolf is back for season four, and it's better than ever. The MTV show made its first debut without Allison last night, and we can already tell you that season four is going to be crazy amazing. But if you haven't watched, you guys know the drill. This is your official warning. Spoilers do lie ahead. All right, let's get this party started. First thing you need to know, there was zero Beacon Hills in the season opener. Instead, the entire group, Lydia, Styles, Malia, Scott, and Kira, have all headed to Mexico. But this ain't no spring break trip. Oh no, this is a straight up battle as the group tries to find Derek, who they end up realizing has been abducted by Kate. And yes, I already know what you guys are thinking. Isn't Kate dead? And we're gonna get to that later. But first, let's talk about the Calavera. This is a group of hunters in Mexico who Scott, Lydia, and Styles think might have kidnapped Derek. When they arrive at their headquarters in Mexico, which is essentially a rave, they are able to sneak attack the Calavera by having Malia and Kara pose as party girls. Scott also manages to sneak in, and then the Teen Wolf crew does some damage and takes a few of the Calavera down, but they still end up getting taken prisoner. And this is when they realize that the Calavera don't even have Derek. Instead, the crazy grandma lady who heads them up only wants to know about Lydia's banshee powers and also what kind of alpha Scott is. And as you can tell from my interpretation, she was incredibly dramatic about the whole thing. After enduring some cray cray torture, Scott is able to have a breakthrough. He realizes that Kate is the one that's got Derek and this is when all of the pieces start to come together and this is also around the point that this happens. All right, dude, just focus on the sound of my voice. Anything you have to do, just try to concentrate, concentrate on... Fangirls, you're welcome. Once the group leaves the Calavera, they meet a very familiar face, Brayden, she is back and she is willing to help them because in a nutshell, this girl is willing to kill pretty much anyone for money. Brayden takes them to this temple area that was sacred to this people group from way back in the day that were where jaguars and we're guessing this is what Kate might be now. So once they get to the where jaguar temple land, they know they have to go in and this is when Scott and Kira have this extra special moment. Scott, I can't think of anything else to say except for be careful. And I know be careful sounds kind of lame, and I'm totally sure the second you're gone, I'm going to think of something much better, but... No. Be careful works for me. Scott, the sun's going down. I mean, no kiss? Maybe Scott is still getting over Allison's death, which for the record isn't really discussed in the episode, but you can kind of feel the tension when the group is in the car discussing how Kate came back to life. Now on that very important note, Kate never came back to life because she never actually died. The Calavera heard about her death, and so they came to find her in the morgue. They realized she was healing thanks to her growing claws, so they took her with them. The rest is basically history. So Scott and Brayden miraculously end up finding a tomb that they think Derek might be in, which he is, but it's only sort of Derek, because yes, my friends, this is Derek Hale, only he's Benjamin buttoning hardcore, because that's not the Derek that we all know and love. Somehow he is trapped as his younger self. It was such a crazy reveal. And then in true Teen Wolf fashion, the episode ends. So obviously there is a ton going on and we're just dying to know what you guys think. Don't you guys think that Scott seems somehow more mature and grown up this season? I mean, even Styles does too. And did you guys love the romantic moments, the kiss? And what the heck is going on with Derek, you guys? Give us your thoughts in the comments section right on down here, and then click right over here to go back in time a little, get details you might have never known about one of our favorite movie franchises, Harry Potter.
and be sure to subscribe. I'm Jocelyn Davis at Clever Headquarters. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you later. Thank <laughs> you.